Okay, so the important thing in, in follicular unit extraction is to delineate the permanent zone. And we can see that this is the area that separates the permanent zone from the area that's balding. And we're going to prep this area. Normally, we shave um, the scalp to about one millimeter. So we're going to use regular clippers just to delineate the area. Okay, so for follicular unit extraction procedure, it's really important to, to um, have the hair very short and uniform length. So first we demarcate the area that we're going to harvest, so demarcating the permanent from the non-permanent area. And then we use um, clippers to cut the hair about one millimeter from the scalp, and it has to be uh, very, very short. Even a day's growth um, will make it too long for the, the robot to see the hair. And we use the wall peanut uh, clippers just for this purpose because it's able to cut the hair short. We're going to give a ring block with local anesthetic. The anesthetic contains 0.5% lidocaine. Uh, we'll use about 60% of that. 40% um, will be uh, bupivacaine at 0.25%. And we add 1 to 200,000 epinephrine. And we'll just go around the base of the uh, donor area um, to uh, make the injections a little bit more comfortable. We'll use some uh, vibration. And so we'll start basically at the midline, get a little pinch, okay, and we advance the needle first, and then just very slowly inject as we withdraw. Okay, and we'll do this very, very slowly. And you can add bicarbonate to decrease the strain, sting a little bit of the injection, but the most important thing is just the rate of injection. You want to inject it as slow as possible. And we're just going to go around the entire, this entire scalp. This is the level we usually go. Okay. So what we do is we keep on advancing the needle into an area that has prior anesthesia, so it, it'll be partially numb. And then just we advance around the total perimeter of the scalp. Mm -hmm. And the vibration just gates the, you know, the, the sensation of pain, make it a little bit more comfortable for the patient.